Good day. Welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on the 18th of November 2011. Come, let's pray together. We start with a prayer of Benedict of Nursia. O oh, gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you. Through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now come to a time of confession of our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. Father God, we now lift this troubled world to you. From your wellspring of mercy, hear these petitions and cries. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need following natural disasters, such as earthquakes and famines and uh, hurricanes, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. We come now to a time of praying for those who are looking for work. Lord, we are wonderfully made, and you have given us each many talents. Draw us out into ever truer images of ourselves. We pray for the unemployed and the unemployable and all seeking new jobs for those looking to fill or create new positions within their businesses, for those who have no home of their own. And as autumn turns to winter, we pray for those who sleep rough, either through choice or because the world has abandoned them. 
By name, we pray for Lucy and those who love and support them. Thanks, Eugene. That was great. Let's now have a time of praying for other people. Father, we lift before you these people who are ill. Kath, Joy, Christina, Betty, Margaret, Ron, Tracy, Denise, Bruce, and Karen. Give comfort to them and all those who are ill, and give wisdom to medical staff treating them, and from your wellsprings of mercy grant a healing touch. Father, we especially lift to you Patty, who was recently diagnosed with lupus and having to undergo surgery. Grant also peace to her mother and her family that only you can provide. We ask these things, Father God, through the majestic name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. And now as we close, we also lift to you all those getting baptised this weekend. We ask that you would protect them. Give them, O oh great God, a sense of peace and grant them boldness as they make this step in their Christian walk. We especially ask this for Florence, who is due to be baptised this coming Sunday evening. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.